Hello, this is Ultimate DS Man. This is my review on the 5 inch Classic Sonic. So let's get started with this view. Let's first take a look at the box. Alright, this is a box where you first find it in stores or you first open it like you got off online or something like that. So let's take a look at this. It says over 10 points of articulation. We will test that. Uh, Jazz wears. It's not a hedgehog, classic Sonic. Sonic through time series. Sorry about the back, it's torn because I opened it. On the side we have classic Sonic, back classic Sonic. The box itself isn't anything too special, but I kept it mainly. Ah! Darn it! Nah! Mainly because, I don't know, I felt like it. Now let's move on to detail. Okay, this figure's detail is pretty amazing, just like uh, other Sonic Jazz Wars figures. So eyes, a little smirk right there. The smaller ears. Those quills. His back spines, which I didn't mention in the uh, 10 inch modern Sonic review I did. But for some reason, they decided to put the black text on the back of his shoe rather than the bottom. Well, then again, there already is stuff on the bottom of the shoes. Sega, Jazz Wears, Made in China. So the detail and paint job is pretty good. Almost perfect, actually. And now let's move on to articulation. So the box is over 10 points of articulation. Let's test that. One, two, because he has a cut in his arm. Three, right there. Four, he has a waist articulation, but very tight. I don't want to mess up, but he does already have articulation right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he has ten, not ten, excuse me, twelve points of articulation. I can't count today apparently, which is pretty good for a five inch figure. Obviously, the modern Sonic figure is going to have more articulation because he's taller. And he can bend the knees. Unfortunately for classic Sonic, he cannot. Only the 10 inch figure can, so... I might do a review on him whenever I get a uh, 10 inch classic Sonic. Also, with the paint job, I got the uh, lighter blue release, because I was like the lighter blue classic Sonic more than the darker blue. The lighter blue is from the Sonic Generations and Sonic 1 Sonic. Darker blue is for Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So that's how that works. Overall, what score do I give this figure? I give this figure an amazing 10 out of 10. This has to be my favorite Sonic figure I own. Because the detail is spot on amazing. There are no paint errors at all. The articulation is good. There are no loose joints at all. And he's just... He's pretty much a perfect classic Sonic figure. If you are a classic Sonic fan, I would highly, highly recommend you get this figure because it's just, it is very, very good. It doesn't really matter what uh, re-release you get. I just like the lighter blue more. That's just my opinion, though. But I highly recommend you get this guy. I mean, this guy is just awesome. He's my favorite Sonic figure now. Unless I get that vintage candy Sonic figure from the 90s. Anyways. So yes, I give this figure a whopping 10 out of 10. I know this was kind of a short review, I apologize, I know I haven't made a review in a while. And I actually used my new intro in this review. Yeah! <laughs> well, Classic Sonic, 5 inch, 10 out of 10, no questions asked. So this is Ultimate DS Man, signing off. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to mention, uh, he does not have any accessories just like the other 5-inch figures. So yeah, that's one thing I forgot to point out. He does not come with any accessories, it's just him. Okay, see you later for reals. Bye-bye!